Brooklyn Independent Television. I'm Paulina, I'm a part of First Movement. Uh, I do the vocals and the writing in the group. Hi, I'm um, Mark and uh, I'm a part of First Movement as well. And uh, you know, I make the beats and uh, I also do writing as well. Uh, occasionally, you know, I do singing. Oh no, I want a space with you. I was born in the Bronx, uh, lived in New York my whole life went to performing art schools, worked in a whole bunch of studios, started tinkering around with keyboards and with instruments back when I was 14. I was born and raised in Moscow, Russia. I was brought up in a very musical family. My mom was a big fixture in the pop scene. She's a singer uh, in the 90s, so I literally like grew up between the two worlds. I was playing classical music, but then my mom would be doing the shows. Early on, I got into writing and, and um, singing. Um, got a scholarship, came to the US to study at Berkeley College of Music. Different uh, collaborations and deals followed. I've done a few projects in the pop world, dance world. That kind of brought me to New York, to meeting Mark. I love the Brooklyn music explosion movement that's going on right now. You know, uh, there's a lot of really interesting things happening. Uh, there's a lot of out of the box thinking. Um, and yeah, you know, I mean, I guess that we're a part of it because we're from Brooklyn. I always wanted to do a project that kind of comprised um, a lot of dance floor elements with a lot of popular elements. So I met uh, Paulina at uh, Bass Hit Studios. Uh, we were introduced by uh, Dave Darlington. And I sent her the rough track for Accelerator. And what she put on it really like blew my mind away. First movement is a musical term and it kind of seems fitting for us because we are both classically trained. Uh, I mean, classically trained in voice and she's classically trained in uh, piano. It's just not a name, it's kind of a concept. It's kind of a way of thinking, um, thinking outside of the box, wanting to take chances. The first track accelerator kind of set the vibe for the whole project in a way. and. Uh and Mark was really inspired by movies like Blade Runner. Having classical background um, really expands you as a musician. It doesn't matter whether now I'm doing house music or electro or dance or if I'm appearing at the clubs. I've incorporated classical music into what I do in a pop world. Classical Music has always been very, very big for people that produce dance, you know, especially in like trance. You can have a trance record that's 11 minutes and that record can take you through movements of like a one theme to the next theme to then the climax to then down from there. Um, so it's really not that far of a stretch and to be honest, that was one um, of the impetuses for me to get into dance music in the first place because there was really no boundaries. Yeah. 
differences between quote unquote popular music and quote unquote house or dance music. I think that um, you know maybe about 10, 15, 20 years ago there used to be a bigger disparity between the two. Now I think that that wall has been broken down. So many subdivisions of music, you know, India, lecture, lecture. I mean, like there is countless uh, styles, and everybody now can sort of go into the kitchen and say, "Well, I want this and I want that." We just want to bring the energy, bring the vibrance, like almost bring the vibe of, "Okay, we are about to take off, and all of you guys are coming with us, and we're going to go to the stars." Do you want to fly high? Fly with me. Don't tell me that the rocket's dead. Oh, oh no. No, no, no. I want to space with you. Do you want to fly? Brooklyn Independent Television on the BCAT TV Network.